The government of Kenya expects that the investment in geothermal energy will trigger exponential economic growth. Kenyan companies have been exploring ways to harness heat from below the surface of the earth. CGTN's Enoch Sokolia looks at alternative uses for geothermal energy. The main objective of the geothermal project is energy production. But according to experts from Kenya's geothermal development company, Kenyans are bound to benefit much more from what is happening here at the Meningai Caldera. A caldera is the depression left behind after a volcano erupts and collapses. Inside this one, five 130 foot tall, 2,000 horsepower Chinese built rigs give us an up close look at Kenya's energy future. Even though they are silent for now, theirs is a success story. Over 50 wells they drilled have been found viable. Hundreds of megawatts of power can be pumped out from below the earth crust. But steam from these wells can be of much more use than just power generation. Meet Esther Njuguna, a geothermal energy direct use engineer. She's feeding fish in one of the geothermal heated aquatic ponds inside the caldera. What we have inside the ponds is uh, the tilapia species of the fish. And the optimal growth temperature of fish is 29 degrees centigrade. So we always insist that we heat the temperature to around 29 degrees centigrade. And by so doing, instead of fish taking nine months to one year inside the ponds, we are able to harvest our fish at around six months. This is where the magic happens, inside a heat exchanger. The geothermal water pumped into the exchanger heats up fresh water inside the metallic coils. The now hot fresh water is then distributed to various agricultural projects like greenhouses through this insulated pipe. Inside the greenhouses, what we are heating is the atmosphere of the greenhouse. Because when we heat the atmosphere of the greenhouse, we are able to bring down the humidity levels and raise the temperatures. And by so doing, we cut down on the fungal infections of our crops. Other direct use of geothermal energy being explored here include milk pasteurization, grain drying, and laundry. We have many people who'd want to do greenhouses. We have many people who'd want to, to, do, to dry. For example, there is somebody who wants to dry onions using our geothermal heat. The governor of Nakuru County, Likinyanjui, says these direct uses will benefit his people and also Kenya as a nation. We can also not forget in the area of tourism. We have one hotel here in uh, Kenya called Bogoria, where they're utilizing the hot pass from beneath, and uh, lots of tourists keep going there. But the truth is, we have many other places where that can be done, from Naivasha to here in Akuru and many other places. These ventures are being trialed at Menengai Caldera, but at the Olkaria Geothermal site, also in Akuru County, they are already taking shape. Enoxicolia, CGTN, Nakuru, Kenya.